Somebody walked out and was like, oh God, I hope this works. <laughs> and it did. <laughs> We're in the moment. You ready? I'm excited. <laughs> More than 80 years ago, right here in this garage, there was a moment that gave rise to Silicon Valley. It's where Bill Hewlett and Dave Packard started HP. Moments like these are at the heart of innovation and inspiration, and we're on a mission to capture them. You know, when I think of you, obviously, the, being the CEO of TaskRabbit, and for me, you transformed that company. What were some of your takeaways? One of the things that was important to me was finding a company where I can be inspired by the mission. I grew up in Detroit, and I was raised in a family of mostly women. It was like four generations of women in my house at one point. And we always talked about community. We always talked about taking care of people. So for me, finding TaskRabbit was finding a company that I could help people help others. How would you describe your household growing up? My parents got divorced when I was very young, so Grammy was a big part of shaping who I am. She was at home when I got home from school because my mom was at work, and she, she taught me so much about how to stand up for myself. You know, when I was getting picked on at school, it was like, you got to get out there and just like stand up for yourself. She also taught me that there's always going to be people who don't like you, Stacey, but that doesn't mean you're not amazing. And so she taught me to really believe in myself, even when other people didn't believe in me. Fill in the blank. The future of AI is? Fascinating. Having been in tech for 20 years, the pace at which AI is changing things is phenomenal. I've never seen anything like this. So if AI has it, the impact that we think it's gonna have, it's gonna really make people more productive and it's gonna create a better customer experience. But productive doesn't mean I don't have a job anymore. I was just gonna ask you that, because you know th this is a, a scary conversation for some, right? How do you address that? It doesn't mean I don't that? have a job anymore. It just means I'm better at what I do. It means I'm more efficient at what I do for education. I think if it forces all of us to be learners and to really provide critical thinking around the things that we read and don't accept everything as fact, like how much better will we be at communicating with each other? For us, diversity is about decision making. We've been talking about the lack of women leadership in tech for decades. So what needs to be done? Each of us has to tag in and, and tag in in a way that is about demanding the change that you want to see. And if I go back to my roots in Detroit, it's like we didn't stop until we got what it is that we came here for. And so we've got great diversity on some boards. HP has great diversity on their boards. The age diversity, the gender diversity, the racial diversity just opened up conversations about the customer experience in a way that I really do believe helped shape the products that you see from HP today. But we can't stop there yeah. because not every company has that. So we've all got to tag in. Everybody does. And not just the minority group that we're focusing on. You can't just let the black people tag in or the women tag in. We all have to tag in. What does the garage mean to you? There's an energy in this room right now that makes me feel like I can walk out of here and just do anything. Right? You're like, oh, I can do it. Yeah. I did it, I can do it. People showed up at this garage. Somebody walked out and was like, oh God, I hope this works. <laughs> and it did. <laughs> So this portion is okay. the moment of truth. I'm gonna read some questions off, mm -hmm. rapid fire, and the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, right. here we go. What songs get you motivated for the day ahead? Pretty much anything old school hip hop. Okay, and stop, stop. If we go right now in your car, what are we bumping? Lose Yourself by Eminem. Ooh. That's not from Detroit. <laughs> Detroit. I mean, Talking about Detroit. <laughs> Where are you gonna take me? To Coney Island. Oh to get chili cheese fries. Who would play you in the movie version of your life? Ooh, I really would love Viola Davis to do oh, it. She's so awesome. I'll be saying no, but you know. <laughs> so you actually had your own TaskRabbit account and occasionally got hired. I actually love this story. What was the best and worst gigs? Oh my God, the, the IKEA one. furniture assembly. 
best and worst. <laughs> you, you use both of them. Because it was really fun. I put together some furniture the wrong way. Oh. And I couldn't, I had to like at some point out myself as the CEO. And then the dad thought that he was on like undercover oh, boss. boss. And so it was kind of the best and the worst thing ever. <laughs> So you helped launch SoftBank's $100 million fund, which focused on minorities, entrepreneurs. How much of a game changer was that? We started the fund after George Floyd was murdered, and it really was a point in time where everybody was trying to figure out what kind of impact you want to have. And I worked with some friends of mine, one of whom was the CEO of SoftBank at the time. We got $100 million off their balance sheet to just invest in Black and Latinx entrepreneurs. We saw 2,000 companies in over two years. We invested in 70 companies. And so no longer can we say, well, the diversity is an issue. We don't have enough yeah. ideas. When you focus on investing in a group that is underserved and overlooked, you will find great opportunities. If you had two tips for entrepreneurs that you just talked about that they need to be doing right now or thinking of. Well, number one, your lived experience is real and it's the fuel that's going to help you be successful. And number two, you got to go for it. I think it's inspiring to see leaders who are make, willing to make that impact and kind of have this mission of innovation and, and making that difference. So I appreciate you coming thank in you. and being a part of this. Thank you. It was fun to be here. <laughs> I was delighted to do it. Yeah, thank, thank you for you. having me.